In the health beat, experts say half of all cardiovascular deaths are sudden cardiac deaths, and young athletes may be at risk and not even know it. See what one doctor is doing to reduce the risk and save more lives. Kevin Bondar can't ever remember a time when he wasn't swinging a tennis racket. I grew up in a tennis family. My dad and my mom actually met on the tennis court. At 13, Kevin started having chest pain when he played. Doctors found out tissue in his heart was too thick. I was scared after that appointment. Officially known as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, it's the most common cause of sudden cardiac death in young athletes. 50% of sudden cardiac deaths are first cardiac events, meaning the patient did not know they had heart disease. Many of the athletes who die suddenly have underlying causes that are genetic in nature. Dr. Robert Meyerberg opened a clinic to spot any heart defects that may be lurking in college athletes. One is screening, that's the EKG, looking for those kids that we had no idea that there might be something wrong. They also followed young people who know they have heart problems as well as kids who start having problems when they're working out, like Kevin. Talking about risk versus benefit, and this is the risk you're taking, do you want to take the risk? Kevin's fear that he'd never be able to play tennis again never happened. After being treated with beta blockers, he continued his collegiate varsity career. I trust the care that I'm under, I trust the medication that I'm on, and I know, I know my limits at this point. I think the screening might not bring you the results that you want to hear, but results that you need to hear. More college athletes are being screened now, but there's a push for more screening in high schools, especially those in rural areas.